journalists from Russia's Rostov did not mention the cause of his death. Reuters Ukrainian journalist Denis Kazansky has reported that the grave of U.S. Citizen William Riley who went missing on June 24, 2015, after he reportedly went to support the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic DPR, was uncovered in Russian-controlled Donbass. In 2015, American citizen William Paul Riley went to the territory controlled by the DPR to help the militia and went missing. For several years, nothing has been heard about him, and only now it has become known that a trace of Riley has been found. It wasn't him, but his grave in DPR controlled territory. There is no information about what exactly happened to him. Either the American was mistakenly taken for a spy and executed, or killed just for the purpose of robbery, since he had several thousand dollars on him. It is only known that he traveled to the DPR through Rostov in Russia, and last year the Rostov-based website one of rnd.ru reconstructed the timing of his stay in Russia, Kazansky wrote in his blog. Riley arrived in Moscow on May 15, 2015, where he was met by Mikhail Polinkov, a well-known associate of former DPR Defense Minister Igor Gherkin, Namda Gerstrelkov. Polinkov was recruiting and sending mercenaries to Russian-occupied Donbass to fight against the armed forces of Ukraine. Read also FSB preparing Gherkin's return to Donbass, expert having met with him, Riley went to Rostov where he was robbed, $2,000 in cash was stolen along with his bank cards, which were later used for payments and cash withdrawals. Riley was supposed to leave Rostov for the DPR, but contact with him was lost on June 24, 2015. Riley's parents contacted Mikhail Polinkov to get more information about their son, and he made it clear in lame English that their son had been arrested by Russian special services. He advised to contact the CIA or the FSB, another U.S. Citizen, who fought on the side of Donbass terrorists, Russell, Texas, Bentley, tried to find out information about his fellow countrymen. He dialed a telephone number from Riley's called Detail Records which was recorded on June 24, the day when William went missing. Someone named Borea Kilmick responded. He told Bentley not to ask any questions about Riley. The parents sent inquiries to the DPR about their son, but got the answer that no one called William Riley had entered the Republic. Therefore, for a long time, the American was thought to have disappeared in the Russian Federation, namely in the city of Rostov, but the Rostov.ru website reported that Riley had eventually been found. He was killed and buried in the territory of the DPR in the middle of 2015 shortly after he had disappeared, Kazansky wrote. But Rostov journalists did not mention the cause of his death. In the article, the Rostov journalists assumed that the American died amid shelling, but this is absolute nonsense. Given that DPR members took him for a spy, he hardly reached the front line. Polinkov wrote that the American had been in the hands of the FSB. Most likely, that structure is involved in his death, Kazansky said, this story is epic. The anti-fascists did not appreciate the American idealists' aspirations. This will be a lesson to other naive fools who live in the EU or the United States and support Russian aggression against Ukraine. I hope this incident will get the maximum publicity, and the West will learn how members of the DPR and OLPR, the other self-proclaimed republic, Luhansk People's Republic, had handled a volunteer from the United States who believed in the fight against fascism and came to take part in it. And if this happens to an American citizen, one can only guess how many locals, Ukrainian citizens disappeared in this gray zone. Some 573 people were listed as missing on OLPR territory alone in 2016. Even more people have probably disappeared on DPR territory, the Ukrainian journalist added. If you see a spelling error on our site, select it and press Control-Enter.